Hey, I'm Kenny. And I'm Andy. And we are today going to look at our Kenya. It's uh, one of our newest coffees in our seasonal lineup. Uh, it's the Kenya Kirin Yaga. We've been loving it so far, and me and Andy here are going to brew it a couple different ways and just talk about it, talk you guys through how we brew it and what devices we chose. So I chose the Kalita because uh, it's just overall one of my favorite brewing methods. Um, I really like the flat bottom of the filter. I think you get a lot of uh, balance out of it when you're brewing. Um, you keep your, your coffee bed uh, consistent, you know, so the depth of the coffee bed is always the same as you're brewing. Um, if you're pouring carefully, I also like how much balance you get in the cup. Um, you just get a ton of sweetness, uh, acidity, and the finish is always really nice out of Kalitas. Um, and it's fast, like you can brew coffee in 3 to 3.15, like I said, when I was brewing it. Um, so you just get a, a cup that's really nice, really quick. Um, and it's really versatile. Um, you can get a metal one and take it camping and brew with it, and it's really nice. So, yeah, love the Kalita. So I chose Chemex um, partly because of some of the more delicate flavors. Um, I thought the tea, I thought the grapefruit, um, I thought that would, uh, we talked about kind of body um, and how it's lighter on the Chemex, I thought that that would really, really complement it. It being more of a summer coffee, um, I kind of thought about sitting on my front porch in like a hot day or hot morning uh, and, and what I would like to bring out of it. Um, and I really thought the Chemex, um, again, the body of it would be lighter. Um, it, would, it would accentuate some of that. And that, that kind of, that rang true. Uh, that pineapple, like I said, comes through. The tea really comes through, and it's a really refreshing. Uh, I didn't want a really uh, heavy, you know, clove or anything. Not that that's in this coffee anyway, but I, I don't want that while I'm sitting outside on a summer day. So mm -hmm. that's, what, that's why I really chose, that's why I really chose the Chemex. I think initially what I, I, I get a lot more tea out of mine, mm -hmm. um, and I get a little bit more, like, pineapple sweetness, and then maybe a little bit more body out of yours. Mine seems a little bit thinner. Yeah, I get a little bit more body too, a little bit more density, which makes sense with a slightly higher yeah. TDS. And the, the, I feel like I'm getting more like grapefruit and maybe even like some grapefruit zest mm -hmm. under this. Maybe even a little wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one gets the kind of the sides of the tongue and lights you up mm -hmm. and lights up the palate. Yeah. And this is maybe a little, I think for somebody who wants something a little heavier or something mm -hmm. a little less, like vibrant, you know, yeah. and uh, with a little more heaviness to it. Absolutely, absolutely. This, absolutely. this kind of coats the mouth a little bit more. This uh, very good, but this one's a little bit, like you said, side of the mouth, mm -hmm. more of that tang. So to put that in context, on the bag it says, uh, think grapefruit, pineapple tea. When we do those notes, we do those on our Fetco brewer, so just like a drip brewer. Um, I think what's really cool about doing it in different styles is um, you can kind of accentuate those flavors uh, in, in different ways, um, which I just kind of find really interesting. Yeah, super cool. And part of that comes down like the brewing methods that we used are similar but different. You know, you're both on both of these. They're filter brewing methods. They're using a paper filter. They're glass vessels. There's a lot of similarities. But on the Chemex, you have a really, really thick filter, and it's cone shaped. And then on the Kalita, you have a flat bottom filter, um, and it's it's a little bit thinner. So the flow rate that you're going to get is different. We we've also found that like on the Kalita, you tend to get a more efficient brew in terms of the amount you pull out of the coffee in a certain amount of time. So like Andy's brew, I think was over four minutes, right? Yeah, it was four minutes and 25 seconds. Yeah, and then mine was about three minutes, 15. So, yeah. um, and it's heavier, which is interesting. We have kind of a similar grind setting. Yeah. So yeah. that's just something fun to think about when you're choosing yeah. a brew method to use. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, Dive deep into this Kenya a little bit. Um, you know, I know we definitely enjoyed it geeking out, uh, tasting some coffee, measuring it, getting all sciencey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we hope to do more videos like this, but, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Um, comment if you want to tell us more about what you like to brew on or you know, if you have any questions. Yeah, share your recipes with us. For sure. And then hit that bell icon after you subscribe because that helps us a lot and you'll see all the new videos as we drop them. So check that out.